no strict rules <coughs> yeah. to what we expect of the child yeah. or where we want the child to be. Yes. You see, we want the child to know all the subjects. Yeah. But then I run an establishment and I have people who had no clue sure. about tailoring and West African fashion. Yes. But what did I do? I brought it back home. Yeah. <laughs> took it to the basics. Yes. That we would all wear clothes. Yes. And I took it like that. Yeah. And slowly, 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 now took them through all the stages. Sure. Now when they talk, they talk confidently. Yes. They can even call all the names of the products in the local Language. language. You see? Yeah. So now, coming to children being lazy and not being lazy, let me give you my own instance. I didn't like computer when mm. it first came out. Yeah. I got somebody to teach me. Yes. I was sleeping <coughs> through the class. So, one day, the teacher now linked it <laughs> yeah. to me doing my purchases yeah. and my sales. Sure. I was awake throughout. Yes. So everything he was saying, I was now answering to it and then connecting. To I what went you're on really doing, doing it. Yes. So he now asked me one question yeah. that I've, I've always slept through his class. Yes. Does that mean I was listening while I was asleep? <laughs> I said, no. no. It's because you've now brought it back home to whatever you are doing in to life. To what I know, what yes. I could, yes. what I could relate to. Yes. And that's how. I now work with my son exactly in his classwork yeah. and I beg all the people who come home to teach him yes. that this is how it's done. it's done. Let me give you something happened recently. His Spanish teacher complained that he was not keen in during the classes. Yes. So she asked for his dad and I to come to school. Yeah. So after all said and done, I just mentioned to her that he's going to play football yes. in Bas Barcelona yeah. during the holiday. Yes. So the teacher's eye lit up. So I told the teacher, to ask, so we asked him there, yeah. who is your best footballer? Yeah. He said, Mercy. <laughs> then he said, yeah. how will you converse with him when you see him? Sure. You see now? Yeah. So now in class, he now wants to pick one or two words immediately. Yes. Yeah. So you see, we have given him what he loves. Yeah. Food. Nobody likes food. Yes. The the vigor of chewing food is difficult. Yeah. But now, when you now tell the person, if you eat <laughs> beans, like yeah. every child does not like beans. Yeah. <laughs> Even we as adults, we don't like beans. Yes. If you eat beans, you will yeah. grow tall. Yeah. <laughs> If you are a chubby woman, if yeah. you eat beans, you will lose weight. You yeah. see, you will eat it very well. Yes. If you do this, yeah. so if all the teachers yeah. will not take it that they are talking to the wall, yeah. they, have, they, they have to stop disconnecting sure. with that child. They see children as child, yeah. but that person is a human being. Yes wired yeah. by the Most High God sure. for his own purpose. Exactly. Not for what we want them to do, but for his own purpose. Well, Every other yeah. thing we're adding is just an addition. Sure. So when they now know they're talking to a human being, exactly. now they will now be able to coy whatever they're teaching them and then it will make sense. Connecting it to their purpose. Yes. Yeah, so what you just said is so clear yeah. to any parent that is uh, listening to us. I understand, and from what Ifoma just said, you connect back to basics. Because you may find a parent who, maybe the child is not doing good in school, then they start putting a lot of pressure. Why are you not doing right? Maybe in mathematics, maybe it's a science subject, geography, or maybe a language. But from what I just learned from a former who is a parent, whose child is also in school, in one of the international schools around, you need to connect everything back to basics. If it is maths, connect it to what is reality. If it is sports, whatever it is. 
without necessarily putting much pressure on your child. Remember this is the generation Z that talks about committing suicide, killing themselves because they find there is too much pressure being put on them. Maybe in a school setup you find there are so many subjects that they cannot cope up with. So if your child maybe is not doing good in a subject like maths, go back to basics. Start teaching them maybe 1 plus 1, 2 plus 3. Go back to basics. I know sometimes it is not that easy, but my advice from what I've listened across to different parents, let us take it back to basics and connect it to what really connected to the career of your child. Maybe if you want your child to be an engineer, from what they learn in physics and in mathematics, try to connect it. Let them see the beauty of what they're doing in school. Then be a participant in that. Because the day you will be part and involvement in your child's performance, trust me, they will start loving the reading. Like I remember sometimes back there was a parent who had some children in school. These children did not like reading so much. So what the parent did, the parent set some time in the house that everybody was to read. When the children came back from school, they could find the mother, the father, everybody was seated. All the television sets were switched off and everybody was studying. So, you know, even the little one, even that young child, just pick the book. You know, it's time to read because what the parent is doing. But, you know, you cannot force your child and keep on pushing them. You know, you must do this and that. And they don't see you doing. And especially in this generation, they want to do what they see you doing, not what you tell them. An example of a parent, maybe you are a smoker, then you tell your child, you know, you are not supposed to smoke. Then every evening they see you in your compound with your cigarette, taking alcohol, then you tell them it is not good to drink. Mm. Trust me, Ifoma, they are going to continue drinking because they practice and they learn what they see. It's not what you tell them, but what you do. So if you want them to start working hard, be part of their work, visit them in school, be in touch with their teachers and keep asking questions. Check their homework. Sometimes guide them. That's what is expected in this generation. If we want clearly to see our children that are going to benefit and bring some value, because I know most parents spend a lot of money, if not hundreds of thousands, then millions in most of the schools we have around. But the truth here, you cannot just pour your money into an institution at the end of the day, your child not doing good because it is not the name of the school. It is not the architecture or the beauty of the, 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 the building, but what your child will get at the end of the day. And at the same time, we know this generation is so much infected by quite a number of problems. Maybe as a parent, start looking who are the friends to your child. Maybe your child was very disciplined. After some time, you find them with some behaviors that not in your family. So try to look who are their friends? Who, what do they watch in the internet? You can sometimes just have a look at their phones. What did they watch? What are they googling at the end of the day? Because you find some of them, instead of concentrating in their work, they start doing wrong things. And the best way to do it is being very close, not as an enemy to your child, but being close in a friendly way. You correct them. Because if they find themselves making a mistake it doesn't mean that troublemaker it simply me means they need more time to act right and if your <coughs> child doesn't do good in school it doesn't mean they're stupid it simply needs they need much <coughs> more time Excuse to me. do their studying so they do it right in school so i think this is the best advice i can give to all parents be a participant in your child's performance <coughs> be engaged Excuse and me. make sure that you assist them even in their homework Try. It's also a good opportunity for you to learn. Maybe remind yourself of what you had learned some years back by also following through what are the, what are the <laughs> friends of your, of your son, the friends of your daughter. Remember the first president of, 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 of US, George Washington, once said that I associate myself with men of good quality. I'm courteous to all but intimate with few. And the few must be well tried before they pass the shocks of adversity or give them my confidence. So the moment you become a mentor to your child and guide them, like if I just said, the teachers that comes at home and, and mentor the children and, and teach the child, it, 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 she keeps on also inspiring them, please, connect it to what is being done in life without just bringing up a generation where we point fingers because it is us that should bring that change 
in order for our children to start performing. So the last question I would push back to Ifoma, who is a parent, before we close down the show, uh, if you look at the performance of your child based on what they've been doing, the different subjects, what do you think as a parent, the best age, you start connecting what they're doing in school in relation to their career? And if you want them to be in a certain career, what, what do you do as a parent to also motivate them and inspire them that if I want to be an engineer, these are the basics, they are what I need to do in connection to what they perform at school? Hmm. I wasn't those kind of children mm. that um, would um, allow my parents to control me. I grew up behaving like a rascal. And I guess that's why I'm a bit liberal when it comes to things to do with children. Growing up, I was a talkative and a businesswoman. I started handling business, trading. I mm. could trade on anything. Yes. So my parents knew I was going to be a trader. They thought I was going to be a lawyer. They didn't factor me being a designer. Yeah. In those days, people who used to go for tailoring yeah. were school dropouts. They never knew an educated person yes. would be a designer. So I now decided to go get myself the admission into school to study fashion mm -hmm. design. Sure. My father did everything he could because then he was a director in the Ministry of Education. Yeah. He did everything he could for me not to get admitted. Into the design school. Yes. Yeah. But I still went ahead and did it. Because it was your passion. No, I didn't know what was, what was pouring me towards it. That's why sometimes destiny comes to play. Sure. But I was very good in finance. Sure. I didn't know it was a talent. Yeah. I just felt it was easy. Sure. You see, when you do anything God has destined you to do. Sure, sure. It just comes like, just the way you drink water. Yes. The day I finished from school, yeah. my father's PA brought me a form to fill, to go back to school to study law. <laughs> right in front of the PA, I tore sure. that form. Yeah. And I told them, this is what I want to do. Yeah. The first job I got after my NYSC, because in Nigeria, after your college, you'll, be, you'll go for NYSC yeah. to serve the government for one year. Sure. The first job I got, I was earning more than my father, who was a director in the Ministry of Education. Sure. And that made him very angry. <laughs> that how come <laughs> ordinary fashion designing? Sure could make somebody that rich. Yeah. What am I pointing out? And I also coach people yeah. when it comes to identifying their talents. Talents, yeah. I always tell them, anything you do, mm -hmm. and you find out that you can stay on it yes. without being tired. Yeah. Check it. Something you do without getting bored. Without getting bored, without getting tired. Yes. That's your talent. Sure. Anything you do, yeah. anything you see, and you don't like it when it's done badly, yeah. that's your talent. Sure. You see many people who go through school, yeah. they studied medicine, they studied Law, so many things, yeah. and then they now come back to what they were supposed to do. To being a musician. <laughs> it happened. You see? Yeah. Because now they've satisfied their parents. Yes, with what they're doing. Now they're now doing what they love. What they love. So when it comes to guiding a child in 
a particular career. Yes. What I've done yes. with my son is that I've, I'm allowing him to do almost everything. Yeah. When it comes to sports, he does football, yes. hockey, bac basketball, golf, anything. Without restricting him. Yes. When it comes to education, I noticed he loves computer. Sure. No matter how the teacher twists the questions, yeah. he will still pass it very well. That's passion. You see? Yeah. <clears throat> now... When it comes to mathematics, yes. what I now tell him yeah. and now makes him look at that mathematics without feeling mathematics is, is somehow, they keep twisting the questions, sure. is if you're a sportsman and you're a billionaire, yeah. you must know how to calculate your money. Exactly. Otherwise, <laughs> you lose it all yeah. to your manager. Sure. If you're a sportsman and you cannot read your contract, you would lose it all. Yeah. So even me, when I was in school, I never liked mathematics. Sure. Only to come down to fashion. Yeah. And I saw that those minute calculations yeah. was necessary in fashion. Yeah. Because everything you see on a dress yeah. has precision. <laughs> You the cannot, there is no shortcut to anything. Sure. And that's what I teach even adults. Yeah. That there's no shortcut to life. Yes. I teach my son and I, anytime I mentor a lot of people. Yeah. And I didn't have my child on time. Yes. I had him when I was 44 years old. Sure. In fact, three months to being 45 years old. Yeah. So I mentor a lot of people, both young, old, old every age, good, bad. Yeah. You know when we say bad children, because the child is not conforming to what the parents want. Because, sure. but my father would always tell anybody he goes to visit. Yes. You see that your child you say is bad. My daughter was worse. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am now. Yeah. You see. I think God always makes you go through all this yes. so that you have compassion. Exactly. So what you said is really true to the children that are being brought up today. So to me, career is not a finite destination where somebody comes and asks your child, where would you like to be? I don't like that question. Or what would you like to do in life? Because as if career is a finite thing. Like if I just said, you let your children do as many activities as they want to do, even at school, even if they don't do that well in a specific subject, you just need to give them time and inspire them. Because there are some children in the past, like she just said, uh, maybe in Nigeria, where you find a parent insist that you have to do this particular course. Yes, the child will go and do it. By the time they're graduating, they bring to you the certificate, mm -hmm. then they go back and do what they want to do in life. So we will be discussing quite a number of topics in relation how to manage our children's parenting skills. We have come up with a platform now that will be hosting different parents. Thank you so much, Ifoma, for your contribution. I believe that the parents that are listening have also contributed. They will start looking at life in a much different way without complaining or without looking at their children like, you know, my child cannot perform. There is no stupid child. You just need to give them time because the moment they have known whom they want to be and what they want in life, then they will start actually looking at it in a way that, you know, this is the way to do it. And there is nothing very pleasant as letting the child go after what they want in their heart. Remember what she said, she started earning more like his dad that was a minister of education by that time in the government. So that means the talent. Because in life there are three people as we close. There are the poor people, the rich people and the wealthy people. Poor people talk about money all the time. Rich people talk about things. Wealthy people talk about ideas. So it's the world of ideas. So let your child come up with an idea, then support them. If you like our channel, Please subscribe and keep following us, both on Twitter, YouTube channel. We will always be live asking questions. And <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>
Thank you so much. God bless. Subscribe to our channel, guys. <laughs> Please subscribe. Thank you. You'll be happy, you.